see if there's something more. Friends, do you think that answers the question, or is there more? There's some other what thing. was the question? Uh, what say. are the right questions? What are the right yeah. questions? Okay. So, they say sometimes uh, people are willing to do things in a, uh, like a, an imaginative way or a creative way or a fun way. And they would say, pretend you're playing a game. And the game is save the planet from humanity, awaken humanity, get humanity to stop living like it's living so that we can have something sustainable f for all of us, for all of us, then what would you do and how would you use every day to greatest impact? because we don't know how much time we have. None of us knows how much time we have. You know, th uh, there could be a car wreck or a big That's tree true. could fall on us. You know, mm -hmm. we never know when it's going to be. So many people have no idea. That's true. And then it's done and they, they keep thinking, I'll get to it later, later, later. And... It, like that tree, that tree back there that we mm -hmm. said, this tree, it thinks it has Oh, the one Bobby was talking to earlier. Yeah, yeah. It thinks it still has another 150 or so <laughs> years to do it, whatever it was born to do. And it just hasn't gotten around to it yet. And it's like many people in their 30s and 40s, they just haven't gotten around to no, it yet. No, we think I've got to focus on my career. Yeah. And, you know, one wonderful gift of having a brother die in his 20s is that it was a good reminder that you never know. You just don't know. And it could be, you know, ever since then I've felt like on borrowed time. Each day is on borrowed time. And it's a way to not waste a life. So to ask, if I were, usually if you say, if I were going to die t tomorrow, what would I do? What I would do is eat ice cream, you know? So right? that's not a really good cookies. question, cookies, right. right? But if I were going to die next year, and this was it, and this is my last year to accomplish anything, if a, a day, f a year from today, that's it for me, I'm toast. Meeting your maker. Meeting your maker and having to account for yourself, for real, not for pretend. Then how would I spend this next year? then that's a good question to ask. What would your answer be to that? How would you spend your this doing this? If I had a better answer, I think you'd see me doing it right now. This is the I best. Mean. What we're doing, what we're doing is actually really simple because we've had years and years of training. And so what we do is hold the energy portal, stretch it through the clouds of the dead people, get our kind of like a tube, like an access tube, up out of the clouds as high as we can reach, and then say, okay, now what? What now? What do I do now? What now? What now? And then we just do whatever they say to do, unless it sounds like, that's a crazy idea. Something's or dangerous. Dangerous. And we say, wait a minute, hold on, is there anybody else? <laughs> Have they asked you to do dangerous things? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like and what? Like we can hear, if you want to share. Uh, oh, there were good ones recently. Like violent things or just <laughs> reckless? No, well, they're the unaware right. of the dangers. We started talking about this before, about when they'll just widen the eyes because they can't see those clouds of the dead, the intervening clouds, the really thick clouds of dead people are a problem both looking up and looking down. They really block visibility both ways. And from our seats looking up it's a little easier because we don't have to deal with toxicity on the res on this receiving end up there if Whereas you can get through to clear space then you're in clear space and at least what's coming in is reasonably clear does that make sense mm -hmm. whereas they're looking down through the clouds of the dead and it's, into a, mess and it's a super mess and it's a toxic zone and so when they are looking in here it's like poison gas is coming out on their end and you know they're trying to keep their functioning not lose their own mental acuity right. while looking and so every now and then oh 
it, th- this is a Boston Terrier thing. Yeah, he's he's breathing quite a bit. Well, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, sorry about that. No, sorry it's about fine. that. So, just uh, project your voice so then everyone can, because he's kind of loud. <laughs> <laughs> he's loud and smelly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> loud and smelly. Okay. Like okay. Me. So we're the point. I'm they're trying to make a point. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry, friends. Say it again. I'm sorry. I lost it. Please. I'm sorry. Okay, so now when the angels are looking in, they can say something. Okay, do this. When we're asking up, okay, now what do you want us to do tomorrow? We try to uh, get a good idea toward the end of every day. What do you want us to do tomorrow? And also next week, next month, so that we have some kind of planning next year. And there's always something that we're headed toward in a five and ten year plan. Mm-hmm. We might not have conscious awareness of what it is, but we can feel it. We can feel that it exists. Once you learn how to uh, relate to energy structures, structures, it makes it simpler. So asking what are we supposed to do, sometimes they will say, uh, something that they don't know is dangerous because <laughs> they want us to accomplish some goal and we, we have to say uh, that, that's really dangerous and then they'll say oh well don't do that and and it could mean dangerous in different ways like sometimes they want us to like say things to clients that would blow out that client like I have a healing practice and I work with horse trainers Mm -hmm. and sometimes the guardian angels upstairs really want a specific thing for a specific horse so that horse can live his destiny you know Mm -hmm. and they say and you can feel it in the body they say you've got to tell the trainer blah blah for this horse and we know just from having worked with that trainer they're not going to do that and all that's going to do is damage the professional relationship and then we've lost that horse and you guys aren't going to get to help that horse or any of those trainers right. other horses and sometimes when we say that I'm like okay and I'm willing I'll say that stuff but that's going to blow out that trainer and then that's it mm-hmm. for yeah. all those horses and then sometimes they say oh never well, mind don't do that don't do that <laughs> don't say that oh never mind or they'll literally say turn left here and there is no road it's like <laughs> there's I, no road. I can't turn left here there is no road here there's got to be a road there's got to be a road okay there's not a road. And again, I cannot turn left here. They can't see. They can't so see. we're not trying to be jerks by saying right. there isn't a road. Do they get frustrated if you don't listen to them? Oop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And wouldn't you, you and know? Wouldn't you? Is, is it scary? To who? <laughs> for, for you too as you know, it takes so, so much, much of bad I stuff know. has happened. Yeah. So much bad stuff. If I were going to get scared, that would have already happened. We would have come and gone so long ago. Can they interact with you physically in a way that would harm you? He's talking about oh, the poltergeist. Guys. He's talking about poltergeist. Now what? Um, he's okay. talking about So here's what, what we're doing. People will want to know. What we're actually doing is we're blowing the cover on the poltergeists in the astrals. We're whistleblowing. Uh Uh-oh. This is big. And uh, we're whistleblowing interdimensionally. And there's all this corruption going on in the astrals where the people who are in charge of the astrals, the dead people who are in charge of the astrals are telling the angelic presences, everything's okay. We've got it handled. You don't worry. (laughs) And they... Are corrupt. I'm sorry. That I'm Did sorry. The mess up yeah. The so the uh, they're corrupt as corrupt can be, and then they do send in the poltergeist, and the poltergeist will knock things off high shelves, <laughs> and they will throw oh, they stuff at us, and the branch breaks right there. Cut and the power. Right. It's like you jerks. <laughs> it's just making you look worse and worse and worse. That's right. That stuff uh. has happened here. 
Oh, oh it yeah, happens all the time. every. That's why the yeah. sound equipment has such trouble, and the recording mm. equipment has it's such trouble. It's the poltergeist trouble. messing with you guys. The poltergeist Absolutely. trying to stop the whistle blowing, but they just look worse and worse, worse and, and worse, worse and worse. And worse there's and no worse. reason why the camera should stop mm. working or why the sound should cut out. And no, then we've yeah. learned how to just like find the one who's skulking away. There, there he is, it. right there, the skulker. You know, mm. and then then he's like. Pfft, the spotlight shines on him. That's an embarrassing moment. It's an embarrassing moment. And it goes into the Akashic Library. Then it's on his karmic record, that skulker. Mm. And that's bad. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Yeah. That's a bad thing. So that's what we're really trying to do because we don't think humanity is going to wake up. We don't think it's going to make any difference at all there we think that this we think that this won't make any difference at all with humanity none at all but meanwhile we can at least blow the whistle on what's going on in the astrals that's true we think that humanity's just shh, taking it off the cliff are you scared of poltergeists yeah Everybody is. It's really weird. Well, if they can cut the power. That's oh, they scary. used to like we would go. Oh, like uh, back in our old. That's house what they're talking about upstairs. Yeah, <laughs> Sarasota, and they would do these things, and we would we would miss it. We would they completely were miss to scare us. Yeah, was this morning we had the dismembered rabbit. Oh, you you did kind of oh, blow the story. Sorry, didn't never you? mind. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, what they were talking about upstairs was there was this morning. We had someone coming to the house. Some repair guy because the poltergeist had broken they something. So much they break all the stuff. And now we've learned to do a lot of repairs ourselves. Yeah. But back then we weren't so handy. And there's a repair guy coming and we were both around the back of the house doing some yard work and the guy comes around looking kind of shaken. Mm -hmm. And he's like a nice normal guy, not someone who looks like he gets shaken easily. And mm -hmm. he <laughs> there's a uh, there's something in your front yard. We say, okay, and then we walk around with him, and there's a half a dead <laughs> rabbit lying in the yard. He said, do, do you have cats? you have cats? And we said, no. No. He said, okay, so you have dogs. No, nope, they're all dead. <laughs> he said, no, they're dead. all dead. Uh, we, don't, we don't have them. At the time, Baxter wasn't living with us. Yeah. Right. And he said, so how'd it get here? <laughs> Poltergeist. Absolutely. We did not right. say that word to this yeah, repairman. Right. Because right. Can you imagine mm. the look on his face if we said, right. Poltergeist, now why don't you come inside the house and <laughs> <laughs> fix the thing that broke? It would have gone badly. But that was just one of those things where you oh could gosh. tell this poor guy was so scared. And we've mm -hmm. seen so much by now that it didn't rattle us. But no. obviously they were trying to rattle right. us or they wouldn't obviously. have dropped a half a dead animal in our yard. It was just dropped right there in front of y'all? It was right in front of the driver. <laughs> kind of like... Spread out. Laid out. And yeah. So, well, then there was this week, this <gasps> the week where they put the hole in the roof. That was a week. Uh, when our house was for sale. They p just and put a hole in the roof? Well, okay, and, then, so, yeah. and then a tropical storm came through. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. And there was a hole in the roof, which is a really long story. Yeah. And then we went to Publix, the grocery store. And while we were at the grocery store, they somehow <laughs> got the water hook up to the refrigerator to come loose and flood the, and whole, flood house the whole house with water. Oh. And so we had it was flooded from this and, and that and that, and that. it's and like the all in it's like the three days men come and they say i've been doing this for 30 years there's no reason this should happen and they we always say, say I that know. and they I say know. no you don't understand there's no reason mm -hmm. no i know this should happen mm -hmm. and you're yeah. like i know why. i know i know Both and again guys. we don't use the p word because how many people do we want to have mm -hmm. run screaming from our home right but mm -hmm. we say i know i know i know I have some more questions. I don't know if they're fit for. Yeah. How long did we already turn the thirty minutes? Yeah, we turned. Okay, the so then we can just go into interview mode because we're, because yes, there's no filming. more. Qu what? I'm going to keep filming on our. Yes, I'm not but I yeah. mean, oh, I understand. okay. So Sorry. you guys, we think the questions that you would be interested in answering are coming to an end. Is there anything you guys want to say? While you have them there, I do have one other question. Go for it. Um, to my audience watching, they, they a lot of people will probably think this is just hooey. Is there anything that they want to say to my audience while, while we still have them here? 
We're not trying to convince you of anything. Go live your life. You know, try to become better people. If uh, if you don't want to become a better person, then do you want to think about what that says about you? Fair enough. I don't hear anything else. You hear no, anything else? that's all they want to say. Really, friends, if you don't think that this is true, then why don't you find something else to do with your time? A lot of other videos to watch. Go, go do something else. I'm serious. It's okay. It's okay. This is a way to connect with God. If you don't want to do it, that's okay. Right. Off you go. Shoo. Find something else to do. Don't leave just yet, though. <laughs> More. <laughs> More questions coming up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're really holding his subscriber talisman. Oh God, don't go! Wait, hey, we have this, this different goals here. <laughs> that okay. was great. That what they said, but also <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Robbie, sweating, sweating. <laughs> okay. That you was okay? good. That was interesting. Are you okay? We can segue. Yeah, just let's keep going. So Joke. that was, is that ending your guys' like main video and this transitions more into? We don't know what we're going to do. We have no we idea what we're doing That's with this fine. footage. We're That's fine with me. We're I recording it all. I do you need to do the same? Yeah, I'm going to restart this for my own. I just. 16 minutes. 16. You guys' cameras do the same thing? Yes. You're on the 30 yeah. minute? Mine's 25. I know how long it's going to be. My old camera did. Okay. That, that one's fine. What did he say? What did oh. he just? He, just he said, said bless he you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah, what I, I think. think. I think that so that we. Okay. That's what I think. Do you, do you only say that's true when you're doing the uh, channeling, or do you use <laughs> that not, like normally? When something is true, what do you mean? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Yeah. Oh, I'm just curious. You okay? <gasps>